managed to catch up with the lovely, lovely Tori Higginson. Lovely. Lovely. I got too lovely. It's your, cause, cause you're extra lovely. Oh, that's nice. We all know <laughs> that Tori played Dr. Elizabeth Ware in Atlantis. 63 episodes, I believe. I, yes, what you said. Really, 63? Yes, that's what's actually Sounds right. Yeah, sounds about right. Yes, so you lose count mm -hmm. after three. <laughs> let's talk about this event, okay? Let's talk. Let's That's talk so about dark. what has brought you to Northampton. And it's a sci-fi convention yes. for these guys are lovely. I did one with them in Manchester two years ago. Yeah. And I love doing this. Most of my family are here in Britain, so whenever I get a call saying, "Do you want to come over for a sci-fi?" I'm like, "If it's in Britain, I'm there." What do you miss most about the um, Pegasus Galaxy? What do I miss most? I think the people behind the scenes, I think the crew, the crew were amazing. It was a nice little family. And it's weird because you're, you're uprooted from your home and Vancouver wasn't my home. So all of a sudden, so you become family very quickly. Have you seen the new Stargate universe? You know what, I did. And? I, I really liked it. And it was funny because there's all these jokes going on about, oh, it's, no, what is it, Stargate 90210 and all this yes. kind of stuff. But I turned it on and I didn't feel that at all. I thought, you know, with Lou Diamond and with your guy, Bobby oh, Carlyle. Yeah, those Carlyle. Are, yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful actors. Yeah. And, and very grounded and very, you know, they're not 22. Mm. David Blue looks 12, but mm -hmm. he's not 12. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, did, I didn't get where that, those jokes were coming from. But I liked it. I liked the style of it, too. I think it looked sort of a bit darker and, and a bit more character driven than what they've done in the Stargates in the past. And I think that the writers kind of learned a lesson from Battlestar a bit and kind of went, oh, let's go that route a bit more. And, and to have a character driven piece is, to me, much more compelling. And it looked like it's going to go that route. So I wish them the best of luck with it. I think it's cool. cool. The first planet is too cold, frozen methane. The second is too hot, the third, well, that happens to be behind the star at the moment. Too far away to determine habitability. When will we know? It doesn't matter. We don't have any choice. We're going to have to launch the shuttle before we can get close enough. Do so you think it's going to uh, top Atlantis? Well, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I'm a Canadian and Welsh, so I've got nothing but insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, you know, I think each of the shows are its own, are their own shows. They stand on their own. They're all, and they're all very different shows. So I, I think it's a, it's a hard thing to compare. But I think it's going to do very well. And I think that they have learned some. You know, I, I think there's some of us that have frustrations that it was plot driven entirely instead of character driven. And I think that they've learned a bit, the writers. And this one is going to be a bit more character driven, and that's more compelling, in my humble opinion. Cool. Well, yeah. I will take your humble opinion. Yeah, thank you. And treasure it. <laughs> Tori Higginson. <laughs> thank you. My pleasure. Thank, thank you so you. much pleasure for coming to, to talk to Sky today. My pleasure. Cool. Thank you.